Nessa girl, can't we all just get along? It's enough out there for everybody. Lord, Candy Birds and Nene Leaks done took it to the social media. That's right. They are feuding over the fact that Nene had some choice words for Candy and feels as if Candy may be blocking her blessings. Let's talk about it. Nessa girl, I was up last night interviewing Sookie from Love and Hip Hop Miami about season three and the reunion. If you have not caught that interview, check it out on my page. Nonetheless, I could not even get through the interview good without my phone and my DMs and my Twitter lighting up, blowing up and everything because everybody was like, Daniva, Daniva, you gotta go on Candy page right now. Hi, Nene fussing, child. Ooh, child, they fussing. And Candy said she ain't gonna put the video down. So as soon as I wrapped up with Sookie, I went, looked and saw what was going on. I was exhausted because I'm just so over this level of drama, but it seems to be the hot topic of the day. So you know what? We gotta talk about it. Nene Leakes has been doing YouTube Live for a while now, and in one of her YouTubes, she had something to say about getting spinoff shows, which I'll read to you in a moment. Subsequent to that, she did a live with Tamar Braxton saying that Candy misunderstood what it is she was saying. I'm gonna read you both ladies' sentiments. I'm gonna let you weigh in and then we're gonna talk about it. So Candy posted a video on her YouTube page, a snippet of, you, of Nene's larger live, and this is what Nene had to say. I think my not having a show is due to certain people not wanting me to have a show. Why one person gets to do a show every season after our show, it's weird. To me, it looks really shady for one person, season after season after season, and none of these other girls get to do anything. It feels like someone is afraid that they would be bigger than you are, and a threat, basically, which is so ridiculous, so thirsty of them, and it makes no sense. Now, here's the gag, right? There's nothing for Candy to misunderstand about this statement. Even Stevie Wonder could see, he definitely could hear that Nene is talking about Candy Burris. We can use our deductive reasoning skills and Candy is the only person who has had multiple spinoffs from The Real Housewives of Atlanta. So obviously you are inferring and implying that Candy is blocking you from getting shows and it's unfair that she's had multiple other shows and nobody else have had any. Is you with me? Correct me if I'm wrong and acknowledge me when I'm right. So Candy, after looking at Tamar's live where Nene said she may have misunderstood what she was saying, Candy said, I might have been born at night, but not last night. So she put a small snippet of Nene's video up, me saying exactly what the video, Nene saying exactly what I just read. And here's what Candy had to say. This video won't be up long, so I wanted to address it. At Nene Leak said on her live with at Tamar Braxton that I misunderstood what she said on her YouTube. Now, I don't know about y'all, but on this video, it sounded like a bunch of hating and blaming a certain cast member, a certain person they keep giving a show to as the person her show is the reason why her show ideas aren't happening. Am I tripping? Who is she talking about in this video then? Candy continued, FYI. I do not have the power to stop anyone from doing anything on Bravo. I show support to every project that my castmates do, TV, business, or whatever they are doing. I always post them, even if we don't get along. I don't understand the shade thrown towards me. I stay in my lane and I'm not blocking anyone. Uh, anyway, Nene, we can discuss this at the reunion, but since you talked about it on your live, I figured I'd help the people get a little clarity on why I feel the way I feel. You make me feel like an angry woman. I hit my note, bitch. Y'all like how I, I rounded out that angry woman. So let's talk about it, y'all. 
first and foremost, we always have to ask with Nene Leaks when she start picking fights and doing sporadic shit, what the fuck is going on with her personally? Nene has a track record of when she does things that are illogical, there's some shit going on in the background. Now, you know, I, I don't know if y'all saw my live that I did with Dr. Heavenly earlier today when we talked about Mariah not getting a contract and people having the power to get people off the shows. To be honest with you, I don't think there's any single housewife who has the power to block any other housewife from getting a spin-off show. Networks care about dollars. They don't care about popularity and personality uh, contests. If they felt that they could put two million dollars into this person and get 20 million dollars in return then that's what the hell they gonna do they don't give a damn about y'all petty squabbles bravo really don't give a damn about any one of them as individuals they have dollar signs and ticket prices on their head let's get that straight up clear and if any of the housewives of atlanta would have had the clout to block anybody from doing anything for the longest while, that would have been you, Nene Leaks. Now, I think it is a complete unfair assassination. Uh, it's a com it's completely unfair and an assassination on Candy's character to even put it out there in public that she is the one that is blocking you or somehow keeping you from getting spinoff shows. The gag is, Nene, was keeping your ass from getting the spinoff shows that don't nobody want to see nothing with you and your tired ass family. And it has been said over and over and over, at least in my ears, by producers on your show that you only work in conflict. Nene leaks outside of conflict, there's nothing there. We don't want to see you go shopping. We don't want to see you sitting down there talking to Greg. God knows we don't want to see Bryson Hunchback a homeless dame ass. And we don't want to see Brent big overgrown stank feet need to get a job ass. Your family is not that damn interesting unless you gonna bring on Bryson and his baby mamas and y'all get all into the mud about how that baby, that baby mama say you only pay attention to one of the kids and don't pay attention to the other kids and she need a house, she need this, that, and the third. Now that is something we'd be willing to watch. But that is something that you damn sure don't want to put on the air because you have uh, created this persona of yourself that you are far above Athens and you are far above the low class gutter shit your son is doing. However, at the end of the day, you raised him. He couldn't know nothing about the gutter and that style of living if he was not taught that. You know what I'm saying? He get that level of no ambition, no aspirations. Like my grandma say, slouchiness. The nigga just frowsy. He get that from you. With that being said, your family humbles you. That's why you could never be so high and mighty. Because <laughs> all somebody got to do is knock on your door and say, move out the way. Let me see who all in here. Go back to Athens, bitch, and we'll see what the fuck really going on. So, no, Nene, I don't think you should blame Candy. And, and the shade is when you drop down in the comments on Candy's post, right? Nene was arguing back and forth with fans and making statements. She went on to diminish and minimize Candy's spinoff shows by calling them commercials in parentheses three episodes each. So on one token, you hate and saying, you know, why she gets so many spinoff shows, but on the other, they ain't nothing but little pieces of commercial. Which one is it? You claim that it's shady, Candy's getting favoritism, and Candy's the hater, but you are the one who seems to be hating. Let's get it clear. I honestly don't think Nene ever truly grew to like Candy. You say in your quote, Nene, that Candy potentially feels threatened by you or that she would get bigger than you. But the gag is Candy was already bigger than you when she entered the equation. And her background, though in the words of Jill Scott, it ain't squeaky clean shit. Sometimes we all have to swim upstream. She comes to the table with history making receipts that are substantive enough to justify her place in history. The girl is responsible for all of the early 2000 hits. Candy is responsible for the early 2000 sound. She got multiple Grammys. 
from writing songs for just about everybody. So she comes to the table accomplished. You can't take anything from her because she's savvy. And the one thing that you could learn from Candy is to get out your feelings and get in your bag. Cause that's what mama did. And all she finna do, if y'all ain't learn from her, she finna fuck around and take this drama that you have sucked her into and create another damn business. I wouldn't be surprised if the bitch opened up a gossip hotline fucking around with you and this bullshit. Like Nene, we do like you, but I just don't understand why it is you end up flying off the cuff and with this drama shit and then had the nerve to get down in this woman comments and said, if I was talking to you, I would have added you. I have no problem addressing you directly. But you were talking about her, not indirectly, passive aggressively. Like it's just wrong. And here's what's gonna happen. I can already tell you what the reunion is gonna look like. When they bring up that part and Candy addresses Nene about it, Nene's not gonna have anything of real value to substantiate what it is she's saying and she's going to pull one of these when well, i said it i said it you ain't got to like it i said what i said and that's what it is you can take it or you leave it i gave my opinion you gave mine next question let's move on when it comes to calling any out on her bullshit that's what in the bud move on. I said what I said like that make you a bad bitch what would make you an even better bitch is if you had receipts to substantiate what it is you saying did you get a phone call from an executive do you got proof that Candy got Bravo Andy and the rest of the executives in her pocketbook like what's the tea and, and you know Nina you've been having a hard time this entire season and I think a large part of what it is you are experiencing is you are on the decline of your fall from grace Let's not get it twisted. Nene was Bravo Network's favorite girl. Nene could do no wrong. Them folks got sick and tired of your antics. They got sick and tired of your antics. You grew too big for your britches. And quite frankly, they're no longer receiving the same yield on their return. They're paying you up here and they only making this much more money off of you above what they were paying you. When once upon a time, they were making this much more money above what they were paying you. So listen, you ain't making them folks money like you used to. You don't got high and mighty. You walking off scenes saying what you is and ain't gonna produce and, and what they is and what you is and ain't gonna do. The way you fussed at them producers and stuff. That shit don't work. Fred Hammond said, it won't work. I don't understand why these people get the big head and not understand the fact that Bravo and these producers are your employer and your supervisors. Yes. While you have made the network a lot of money and they have made a lot of money off your back, they still own you and they still write your check. And I think so many times some of these reality stars, they lose sight of the end goal and they can't see the forest for the trees. I am sorry. There is no way in hell that I would piss off anybody who is paying me a million dollars plus $800,000 the fucking fool I law around the world eat and wear red bottoms. Y'all hoes is getting paid millions of dollars to go out to eat, uh, wear borrowed return and stolen fashions from Saks Fifth Avenue and Neiman Marcus. By the way, it's you, Marlo, and Sheree fault. Neiman Marcus ass has got to file for bankruptcy now. Yeah, I go on vacations. Like, to be honest with you, I just don't understand what more do you want. Like, you don't have no real problems as it relates to your employer and your employment. Bitch, I'm always out to eat. And all I do is rest and dress because love don't live here no more. I'm doing the same shit your ass do. And bitch, I'm getting cake paid pennies on the dollar. Okay? Pennies on the dollar. Your ass is living life and being paid this monumental sum of money. It don't change your life. And this is the shit you find to complain about. You did get your little wedding special or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You went out to Hollywood or whatever. You was bigger and better than the girls um, uh, chasing, cashing Trump checks. Ain't you already bigger than them? You was cashing Trump checks. Trump, bitch. Not Crump. Trump. 
How many people can say they know the president? Bitch, you was cashing the president checks, bitch. So I'm not understanding this bitterness. And then the thing that bothers me with y'all women and y'all messy asses, you have been in this business long enough to know what is going to cause a shitstorm of drama, which suggests to me that you did it intentionally. You did it intentionally. You picked this fight intentionally. Could somebody be nervous that they asked for to get demoted, considering the fact that they demoted Vicky from OC and Tamara Judge, offered them friend of the show at drastically reduced prices, it ain't far-fetched that they begin to do the same with some of you helpers on Housewives of Atlanta who, in the words of Wendy Williams, is a little long in the tooth. You know? So could this be strategy? Let me start some ruckus and some commotion so I can ensure that I get full benefits, full contract. I get all 40 hours. I work full-time with benefits next season. Maybe so. But your logic, but I, 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 to be quite honest, I hope this is strategy and not your true logic. I hope you honestly do not feel like Candy's got the power. Yes, Candy is a powerful woman in her lane, but I do not see anybody up at Bravo not green lighting somebody a show because they giving Candy these little spinoffs. And to be quite honest with you, and this is not intended to be shade, you right here hating on Candy spinoffs like they was just the best goddamn thing since sliced bread. The shit was not even fucking all that, to be quite honest. And that, that I'm not trying to be shady. I'm just keeping it real. The, it, it, the shit wasn't even fucking all that. Especially the last one, the Candy Coated Nights thing. That shit was better when we was doing it down to her studio uh, in, 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 in her executive offices. Quiet as it's kept. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you really hating on a whole bunch of nothing. Nevertheless, y'all wanted to know what I had to say about it. That's how I feel. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll call y'all later. And keep y'all ass out of Neiman Marcus still. And them people already going through a hard time with this corona and the bankruptcy. Bye.